Hey, just okay. uh, we took one of your kidneys. That's okay, you only need one. But I also noticed while I was fooling around in there that your gallbladder was about to rupture. So I removed that too. You can thank me later, asshole. Or better yet, thank me now. Thank me now, I said. Put it, put it back. Put it back. What? I can't hear you. Put it back. <laughs> you open it. Put it back. <laughs> put it back. So yeah. Don't you notice how I get quiet when there's no one else around? Me and you and awkward silence. Don't you dare look at me that If you ever want to find out a man's true personality, literally just ask him who would win in a fight between one billion lions and every single Pokemon there is, and then take the unyielding stance of the lion's side. Because 
I guarantee you, you walk out of that conversation with a husband or with a new arch nemesis. Like the other day I was in class and I was bored out of my goddamn mind. And then I remembered I have free will. And also a man who sits behind me that really likes Pokemon. So I spun around and I asked him, one billion lions versus every single Pokemon, who wins? I laid my trap and he walked straight into it. So he was like, uh, the Pokemon, duh as all fools do. And so I said, well, it's a billion lions. Like that's a lot of lions, you know? And he was like, oh, Pokemon can bend space and time and they're gods of their own. And so that I naturally, and I don't recommend this if your man is particularly temperamental, but I brought up the lion ladder. He didn't like that. If you're unaware, a lion ladder is when lions stack on top of each other to create a ladder made out of lions. Very self-explanatory, you know, as one does. And he, the average lion naysayer, the average lion denier, was like, they can't do that. They're lions. And then he spent the next two hours convincing me why the Pokemon would win. And when it started to get a little bit dry and, you know, I was getting a little bored again, I was like, well, what about the lion catapults? He popped a blood vessel. work? <laughs> yeah, I sure hope it does. Hunter, you're pro-abortion, even at eight weeks or 15, maybe even 20? I could give you a 30-minute PowerPoint presentation on why I should be aborted now. Sorry, they just hit the second tower. Dating advice, uh, if she ever tells you- <laughs> You better tell her. I've looked at clouds from both sides now, from up and down. Hello? Ho, the things that you've lied about, even pertaining to your mom. Love your smile. <gasps> you look very handsome today. Thanks. One of my favorite things is the way that Europeans recognize Americans when we're visiting in Europe. One, they say that we smile a lot. We're always so smiling. They make eye contact with us and we smile. Two is that 
we are assholes. And not in the way you think. Not in the, why don't you speak English way. In the, if your motherfucking people try to pickpocket me, I will be unaliving a man on the street corner kind of way. In America, if somebody's trying to rob you, they have a, a, a gun. Like, they, they, they are, like, threatening to take away your life. In Europe, it seems like they just try to sneak a cheeky little hand into your pocket. If someone's trying to take my money and they don't have a weapon, I'm the weapon. Like, I will smile at you, and then if I feel your hand slip into my purse, I will beat you. And I think part of it is because Americans have to work so fucking hard for the meager amount of money that we get. And we're already having, like, corporations steal our money constantly. The idea that one of you wants to try to take it, you better fucking kill me, bitch! I think I like this little life This little life I think I like this little life Marceline, is it just you and me in the red key? My goals are within my reach. I can see them, taste them, but my ambition <laughs> is limited by this mortal vessel. Wow, this is perfect! I couldn't imagine looking any better! But I've gotten to the point, you should know this too, <laughs> that I'm, I'm used to the- Recipe just had to call for glowstone. Okay, here we go. Oh, there's lava, be careful. <sighs> Oh god, what was that? Uh, is it really hot in here or is it just me? Uh, oh god! Oh, you look so tiny and petite. Uh, uh, be careful that lava. You want to make sure you're going to bend and snap. Don't hit me. Oh god! Uh, <laughs> I can't. <laughs> No matter what you do, there is a child that is doing it better than you. But you're older than that child, so you're better than that child. But also that child is better than you. At a lot of things. Raw time. Yeah, what's up? Are you a lesbian? Uh, sure. Are you? No. That's too bad. Are you bi? Sometimes, I guess. You're a very beautiful woman. So like are you. Stuff. You look kind of mad tonight. I'm always mad. Jesus loves you. <laughs> yes, I know, for the Bible tells me so. Um, are you Christian? No, I'm not Christian, nor am I Catholic. Raw time. <laughs> 
You are quite uh, cute with that red bow. With the red bow, but I wouldn't be cute without it. You'd be cuter without it. I, I would? Yeah. Well, that's nice to know. Why do you try to be like a Marilyn Manson? Uh, excuse me, who? Marilyn Manson. I don't know what you're talking about, but okay, whatever you say. And there I was with the Crunchwrap Supreme so far down my throat, you would have thought it was a heave named after an inanimate object. Okay, hold on. Man, let's go get these crumbs. I would call it bread, but they don't pay me enough to call it that. <laughs> Nice outfit, loser. 2001 called. What? Oh, bro, you know about the streets. No, I'm not. I'm from a gated community. I behave. You don't, you thug. This is my impression of me driving to high school at 7 in the morning every day. <laughs> He exhibits no restraint, takes and he takes and he takes and he keeps winning anyway. Changes the game, plays and he raises the stakes. And if there's a reason, he seems to thrive in so few. I don't think I'll ever forget the people that canceled the first Teen Titans show because there was something for everybody, y'all. They had a first gen demi demon demisexual as Rainy and she they fall in love with uh, an Asian American he they diagnosed with ADHD who got his green skin from a Petri dish. Oh, you don't believe me. How about an NFL bound African American valid Victorian loses not only his identity, but most of his body to a MacBook. But instead of only having lemons, he made lemonade and optimized his body to protect those from the same fate. You're not listening to me. A literal alien princess learns the language via kissing, then proceeds to fall in love with a circus trained vigilante who might just be neurodivergent. They had everything, y'all. I can keep going. I can keep going. My God. You bitch. You trollop. You harlot. You shiny tart. You masquerading dance hall floozy. You knew I was going to wear this. I know this looks bad. I promise it'll get better. Stay right there. Everyone's always saying, I got that dog in me. I got that dog in me. Well, I've got that bear in me. The way I got your dad yelling, yes, chef. I love you! I love you! Roar, roar, roar. 